Okay, so today we are looking at initiating startup sequence. Okay, uh, we're looking at Nopix, and Nopix uh, is a distribution that was around for many years and uh, looked like it had disappeared, and it seems like it is uh, still being worked on the back. And essentially, the idea of Nopix was to be an all-in-one inclusive live media uh, type of Linux distribution. You know, you'd use it if you need to um, access stuff on the go, or if you would need to go and make uh, changes and the machine didn't boot up. You know, it was very uh, popular type of distribution. And I'm still, I've been quite surprised that it's actually still around to this very day. Um, so today we are taking a look at uh, Nopix 9.1 and seeing uh, what it's like in the current day and age. So if you check here, it uses the LXDE uh, interface, so pretty, really lightweight and extremely responsive. Lots of accessories, of course, we've got Image Viewer, Leaf Pad, Midnight Commander, Screenshot from X Archiver, Internet Chromium Putty, uh, the Nopix tools we'll look at now, Ormix, which is a volume tool, uh, and of course, Pulse Audio, and under System Tools, we've got Gparted, Geosync, which is a synchronization tool. Um, we've got HTOP, of course, and you can see this is only using 256 megs of memory, and practically nothing, and very low CPU usage as well. Um, preferences wise, of course, you know, I'm picking up something like Chromium, it should be pretty quick. And as you can see there, that didn't take long at all. And interestingly enough, it comes complete with U block origin. Yeah, then looking at the Nopix tools, so you can, uh, if you need to restart the LXDE desktop environment, you can export your desktop. Uh, so basically, the idea here is a, a remote control tool, or if you want a teacher, if you need students to observe your desktop environment. Uh, you can install Nopix to a flash drive or hard disk. Let's try this. Installation also to fix hard disks. There's our disk there. Yeah, okay, sure. Yeah, let's do uh, do a installation fact 32. Okay, this includes the current settings. So basically, it's going to check everything here. It's going to, it needs 30 minutes of RAM. Yes, 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 install. Okay, the overlay partition size, the maximum size of the disk can let it run that. Uh, additional topics, tools, of course, root shell, setting password for root, starting an SSH server, scanning amount of network shares, etc. And they also have the Synaptic Package Manager. It's Debian based, as you can see here. And of course, you can also enable additional repos as well. Okay, so let's not do anything right yet until it's completed this portion. I'll, of course, with the choice of editing, we'll come back once it's finished this section. Okay, so finished, so click OK. And I guess that means we can restart, so let's reboot. Okay, and for some reason unbeknownst to me, I don't know if it is a hardware issue, a virtual box issue, Oh gosh, it's did something wrong, arch issue. But I cannot get Nopix to boot up from the installed virtual box environment. No matter what setting I change, no matter what I do, it just won't boot. Uh, and I have absolutely no idea why that is. Even if I try to reboot up again from the live media, as soon as it detects a local hard drive or VDI image, 
Uh, like the one we created earlier, I can't get it to load, so not just sure why. Initiating startup sequence. And the only way I could get this thing up again was to delete the image and recreate the image, and now it seems to be working again, so heaven knows why. Um, so there's really not too much else really to show you when it comes up, when it comes to this, you know. Why are you going to use this? Well, you know, if you need to have a environment where you need to quickly recover, or you really like using Nopix and you can install it to flash drive and have persistence. Um, really great to use. Uh, really great that it's it's still out there and it's still available. And um, when I looked at their website there, um, something I found quite interesting. The a version 9.1 seems to be easily available, but I believe there's a 9.2, but it is only exclusively available in the Linux user magazine uh, Germany edition. So I have no idea why that is. But yeah, it does seem to have a couple of uh, additional updated bits of software than uh, what we have with 9.1. Uh, maybe that's fixed one or two additional bugs that I encountered. But hey, folks, as always, thank you for watching. If you have questions, leave them below. And as always, bye for now. Mm -hmm.